Today I did a drugstore pretty much transformation because I was tired of looking like a hot mess. I actually used some products that I know that are bomb and then I tried some new products. Some went well. And I went from like a hot mess. Y'all, not judge me. We are family. I'm gonna let y'all watch it. I'm gonna let y'all see. <laughs> I just been, you know how you just not feeling yourself for, for a couple days and you're like, okay, we gotta do something. We gotta change today is that day. Something's gotta give and I, I just need to, I need to trans, <laughs> I need to transform myself into who I know. <laughs> this is not she. <laughs> this one looks more like it for me, the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. And I like this pencil because it's so, okay, it has a spoolie on the end, but it's also very thin. I love a good thin, you see that? This pencil is looking a lot, like very dark, and they didn't have that many choices in the store. The color is just a little off though, <laughs> but it looks good. Good thing I dyed my hair jet black because it's not looking too crazy. Okay, I, I like the pencil a lot. I, I think it's the color that's kind of getting me. Oh, my favorite, so far, my favorite, Drugstore Star Concealer would have, would have to be the L'Oreal Infallible, but I, I think I ran out of the, my other shade, so I'm probably gonna use that today if I can't find one. So I'm gonna go on with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I love this just, even if I'm not doing a drug, like I love this foundation all around the board. What shade is this, 500? I love this foundation, y'all. I love it. I'm gonna use this Dose of Color sponge today. I'm just trying it out, because I haven't tried it out before. Look at that coverage. I mean, come on. Let's get into this coverage. Yes, a little pimple coming. My hair looks all over the place. <laughs> I feel like this shade might be a little too dark for me. Also this sponge, I think is sharing it out a little more than it would normally. How much I'm gonna spend profiling? I'm gonna take this Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer just to contour my face. Do, 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 do. I love that this concealer just blends and it's kind of like, it gives you like a skin-like look. Just blends kind of sheer, but not sheer. Like you get some coverage, but if you want that super skin-like look, this is the concealer. I feel like Drugstore is just coming out with some great products, but at the same time, they're way more expensive than they used to be. I'm like, this is what I would pay at Sephora. Like, not really, but it would be like double at Sephora, you know? How much you gonna spend profiling? <sighs> yes. I'm gonna take the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer and I don't know where the shades are. Look how cute that applicator is. Has anyone tried this? Next, we coming out with some fire products. Mm -hmm. Okay. The under eye is the real test though. Flipping what here? Mmm. 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 <laughs> I feel like it's not giving crazy coverage, but it's giving that just like their foundation, the Creamy Radiant, it's, cre it's Radiant Concealer. It reminds me of NARS way too much. I'm telling you, it's like the drugstore dupe. It's like hydrating and the coverage isn't crazy, but there is coverage. Wow. There's... Wow, this is a face. This is a face. This is a drugstore face. Okay, but I'm a little nervous about the powder, the under the eyes. I only got one powder that I could possibly like use. And I feel like powder can make or break the face for sure. Pray that this powder works for me. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. 
Um, the Can't Stop Won't Stop is a great, it's a really great line, like the foundation and the concealer. So hopefully this does me right. But I only have one and it's a colored one. I don't even have a translucent one. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know the last time I used banana on my face. Cause I don't have any other drugstore powder. So this part. I just. Mm -hmm. I'm just. I'm gonna take that powder on this brush and go in lightly. Brush my face. I'm gonna take the True Complexion um, Black Radiance Contour Palette. Y'all know I use this in my everyday makeup tutorials. Anyway, this is the truth. But if y'all know a good drugstore powder, let me know in the comments down below because I wanna up my drugstore makeup and that powder, I don't think that was it. Why is this looking darker? I also have this NYX Ultimate I shot a palette. I could actually use this too. This has some really nice shades in it. I'm going with like all of these shades right here. I like to work um, from lightest to darkest when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I'm just doing a lighter color and then I'm packing it on with a darker color and then blending them as I go. I'm gonna take these Ardell lashes. I love Ardell lashes. Like when I'm not wearing lash extensions, Ardell's are the way to go. And you can even wear these when you don't have makeup on and they mimic eyelash extensions like, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna put some mascara on my lash extensions and my bottom lashes. Normally, like if I was gonna use a drugstore mascara, it would be like CoverGirl, but I don't have a drugstore. <laughs> Um, mascara right now, which is very unusual. And I like to put mascara on these lashes because they just make them darker. I'm gonna use this lip liner from NYX and it is in brown. The lip liner is pretty, it's cool, but it's not like the best because it's not that creamy. It's kind of dry. I don't like this. Wow, that's so pretty. Wow. My face is looking really matte right now, so. I'm gonna use this NYX Bear With Me setting spray. I've never seen this actually. I always see the like short NYX ones, like the dewy one or the matte one. I've never seen this. I like how it sprays out too. This is the full spectrum, no, yeah, full spectrum cover girl palette. I'm gonna use this one right here. My face is very warm. It's that banana powder that I used. Okay, I'll go with it. This is the final look, all drugstore, and it looks good. I ate, and then I did my hair, and I would usually be creasing around my mouth, which I am very surprised. Um, I am not creasing around my mouth at all, and that's not like me. <laughs>
So I can really appreciate that coming from a drugstore routine or I, I guess not routine, but a drugstore look. And I appreciate that so much. But yeah, I like it. I think my makeup looks really great. It looks very put together. I mean, who says you can't slay on a budget? I mean, I don't know if it's really like a budget though because the drugstore is expensive now. <laughs> but it's way cheaper than high-end makeup. So let me know if you guys want me to do more makeup looks like this, more drugstore looks. I got you. Um, like this video if you love more affordable looks. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.